Good morning, students. Today I'll discuss few questions related to the our chapter that is work and energy. So let's start. See the questions. Look at the activities listed below. Give reason whether or not work is done based on your understanding of the term work students this time cbsc has reduced our portion and from the reduced portion few questions will come that is of understanding based questions and most probably i hope that is of your five marks questions so let us see this is also one of your understanding based questions so one by one let us discuss first one suma is swimming in a pond pond is there and suma is swimming naturally in swimming or during swimming we have to apply force as we apply force we go in forward direction that means force is applied displacement is there so work is done by suma this is work done and reason because both are applying force and going in same direction displacement is there so you will write reason for this i have explained you come for second question a donkey is carrying a load on its back suppose donkey is there and carrying a load on its back then work done by that load this load weight is acting downwards and donkey is moving forward forward angle between force and displacement is 90 degree so let us see we have studied w is equal to f s cos theta and this is f is there weight is acting downwards s is there donkey is moving forward value of theta is 90 degree and i have explained you in the previous class when value of theta is 90 degree cos theta becomes zero so directly i am writing over here cos 90 degree which is equal to f s into zero that means zero which result no work done no work done come for third one a windmill is lifting water from a well now windmill is lifting water from a well lifting applying force in forward direction as well as displacement is also in forward direction that means work done work is done by windmill you please complete your answer by writing reason come for fourth one a green plant is carrying out photosynthesis that means you have studied in uh, biology the plant is making their own food by the process of photosynthesis so whenever they are getting the sunlight from uh, sun and water they are making their own food here no work is done where is the force applied no displacement is there so what according to physics no work done you please write answer then you come fifth one food grains are getting dried in the sun food grains are there and sun rays is falling on that food grain and this food grains are drying 
in the sun. So what happens? Here also no force, no displacement, no work done. And last is an engine is pulling a train. Engine is engine is pulling a train. Engine is moving. Force applied in forward direction. Train is also moving. That means both are moving in forward direction. So we have studied W is equal to F S cos theta. And here both are parallel to each other. So theta is equal to 0 degree means cos 0 degree is equal to 1. So here what you will get? Yes. There is work done. F S cos 0 degree means F into S into 1 that is F S. So there is work done. So you please complete this question. This is NCRT uh, exercise question number 1. And write reason also. So let us see next question. See the next question. Pendulum is given. This is the rigid support. Support. Position A is known as mean position. And B is known as extreme position. C is also extreme position. So let us see, you have seen pendulum that is main position, it is just swinging like this. So one end extreme position, another end extreme position in between main position. Let us see question what the question is asking about this pendulum. Illustrate the law of conservation of energy. You know the law of conservation of energy that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed but it transforms from one form to another form. Provide that total energy remains constant in whole process. By discussing the energy changes which occurs when we draw a pendulum bob and allow it to oscillate. Pendulum bob allow it to oscillate means from mean position to extreme position again comes back mean position again it goes extreme position in backward direction again it comes back to mean position. Why does the bob eventually come to rest? What happens to its energy eventually? Is it a violation of law of conservation of energy? So one by one, let's see. First, let us see the changes when the bob oscillate. So when bob oscillate, first you see at position A. At A. Which position is this one? Extreme position. Extreme position, what is happening? See, if you will find over here, you will find that it is at some height, H. And we have studied that the body is at certain position of height H, naturally it has potential energy. So, at B, it has total potential energy, potential energy, no kinetic energy. Clear? Because Bob is not moving. As it has came, it will stop over there and then it starts moving. As it starts moving backward, slowly the potential energy changes into kinetic energy. And when it comes at position A, this position is B, sorry. And at A, mean position 
मेन पोजिशन इट हैज नो पोटेंशियल एनर्जी बिकॉज यू सी नो पोजिशन नो हाइट नो सिम इवन लिटिल बट हाइट इज देयर सो नो पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इट हैज टोटल काइनेटिक एनर्जी All the potential energy has changed into kinetic energy at mean position. Now, when again this bob go from A to C at C, C is also one of the extreme position. So, what you have seen over here at C, it is extreme position. Again, see here, some height is there. Some height means some position is there. As position is there, it has all the kinetic energy changes to potential energy when it reaches at C. So, total potential energy, no kinetic energy. So, in whole movement, you have seen that potential energy is changing into kinetic energy and kinetic energy is changing into potential energy means transform of energy but the total energy remains constant so when you come again back from c to a from c to a same thing all the potential energy changes into kinetic energy so it has total kinetic energy at mean position at position a and again when it go finally to extreme position same thing total kinetic energy changes into potential energy so there is no kinetic energy see next uh, next question what it has asked up to here we have done why does the bob eventually comes to rest bob eventually comes to rest due to friction of the string and air friction due to air friction its energy slowly decreases and friction of string next see what is the last question what is what happens to its energy eventually its energy will the bob will stop and as it stop total energy remains constant but what happens to this that it will lastly due to friction it will stops and along one side it comes to its mean position and finally it will stop over there due to friction of air is it violation of law of conservation of energy last question is at the same part no there is no violation of law of conservation of energy because as you are seeing the bob is moving energy is transformed from one form to another form that is from potential energy to kinetic energy or kinetic energy to potential energy and there is support at the one rigid support is there and uh, due to air till the energy at last the energy will become zero so there is no violation it follow the law of conservation of energy total energy remains constant okay you solve this questions and full answer you send to me okay